Welcome back everybody, this is Eric here of Moss Pawn and Gun, and today we're going to be shooting a very unique Mosin here. This is my Mosin SPR. I've nicknamed him Stumpy. He's got a 10 and a half inch barrel. Uh, this one's cut down kind of like a Russian mayor's leg, but this configuration actually is pretty close to what a lot of the Russians would have cut down in the war in times of need. Uh, they were called Obrez pistols, and they would take a, a standard long gun Mosin, they'd cut it down, cut down the barrel nice and tiny, and they'd have them a little trench blaster or something they could go in and out of buildings and clear buildings with, or just personal defense. It also wasn't uncommon for soldiers and civilians alike to take a standard service rifle and cut it down in order to hide it in their house. When soldiers are going around door to door and trying to you know, confiscate weaponry, like say in France, when you had the French occupation going on, it wasn't uncommon for civilians to take any long arm they could find and chop it down and make it small and hard for a soldier to find when they were searching their house. So this gun does have some historical accuracy to it. Now, it's not exactly accurate. It doesn't have sights. It's really meant more for pretty much just pointing at your opponent and destroying him at close range, like this. That was a bad idea. Look at that, I missed him. That's all right, we'll deal with him in a minute. All right, let's move on. I can think of a couple of other things. <laughs> all right, guys, I've got a little bit of a confession to make, all right? I'm a secretly a member of a group called CASC. It's the Coalition Against Sugar Consumption. All right, so we're gonna take out these Hawaiian punches here. Look at that, ripped a hole right through it. <laughs> Doesn't really blow them up like I thought it would. <laughs> All right. Well, it's kind of punching clean holes right through those things, which a lot of people were saying, yeah, that thing's not going to hit the right side of a barn. It's not going to be very accurate. Well, it's not very accurate, but it definitely still puts a, a punch on stuff when you shoot it. So let's break out something with a little bit more fleshy consistency. Well, guys, I'm not really sure where this video is going, but we've gone far enough down the rabbit hole. We can't turn back now. I think you can all see clearly where this is going. I just hope that the result is what you expect it to be. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hey, you only put four rounds in this dang thing. It's all right. Guys, appreciate you watching today's video. We've got a lot more on the way with this particular gun. This was just really meant to be kind of a fun little introduction to this little SBR. Uh, it's been kind of a project that's been in the works for quite a while. I hope you saw the humor in this video. We were trying to have some fun with it. Um, we are going to be doing some serious accuracy testing with this gun, okay? I think you all are going to be surprised how accurate a 10 and a half inch barrel can be out of a Mosin. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.